Hi, thank you. Um, I just want to echo where we stand as a board in just denouncing any of the behavior that we've been seeing, especially around threatening our students. If anything, you should incorporate student delegate Heinz Foster's leadership skills that you clearly lack for the people who have been um, behaving in a way that is unacceptable. Um, I just want to share that there is no doubt where I stand with this issue. So I actually just hope to use my time to clear up some misconceptions and, um, you know, just be aware that grades and standardized test scores are automatic barriers for students outside of white and Asian communities. That's a fact. We have an understanding that grades are biased and standardized tests like SBAG have shown to be one of the most effective racist policies considering they're used to attempt to measure aptitude and intelligence. And to use this as a measurement tool in order to attend a public school is to set up a process that excludes certain communities, mostly Black and Latino. And there's no denying that because we see it in the student population, which has been evident at Lowell for decades. Um, and then we're hearing this messaging around scoring better on tests and working harder and changing what makes Lowell good um, or destroying it if we're changing this entire process, which is problematic. And that matches what the school district heard in the 80s and the 90s. Um, when we create that racial hierarchy, we believe in racist ideas. So the fact that Lowell uses this merit-based system as a step in applying is inherently racist. That's what we've been trying to share with everyone. And let's not forget this is an illegal process that has stood too long in this school district. And as a leader of this school district, not a colonel, I am ready to make this change and am in full support of this now and in the future.